Hi, Eric the ITGS Guru here, and today we're going to be talking about expert systems. Expert systems, they are the software programs which use program logic and rules to make the same decisions, hopefully, as a human expert. Expert systems are usually restricted to answering questions in a specific knowledge domain, one specific area of knowledge, rather than being general, experts on everything. Examples of knowledge domains include medical knowledge for a medical diagnosis system and financial knowledge for an expert system that decides whether or not to approve a loan application. Examples of expert systems. Some common examples of expert systems include medical diagnosis expert systems, usually to assist rather than replace the doctor, medical image analysis for screening of mass x-rays to detect abnormalities, identifying agricultural pests and diseases, spelling and grammar checking and word processors, finance, deciding whether to approve a loan, fault diagnosis in various fields, computers, cars, and aircraft. Components of an expert system. An expert system shell is a set of programs which allow the building of an expert system through the creation of knowledge and rules. Expert systems have three essential components. The user interface presents questions to the user and accepts input from them. Inputs may be in the form of a short yes-no question, multiple choice option, or natural language. The user interface also presents answers and sometimes the reasoning for those answers once they have been determined. The knowledge base contains data and facts which form the knowledge in a specific knowledge domain. For example, in a medical expert system, the knowledge base contains facts about the symptoms associated with different diseases. The information in the knowledge base is intended to replace that of a human expert, such as a doctor. However, as most people are not skilled at computer programming, the knowledge from the expert is first prepared by a knowledge engineer. The knowledge engineer works with knowledge into a form that is useful for the expert system. The interface engine has the job of matching the user's input from the user's interface with the data contained in the knowledge base to find appropriate answers. This is done using interface rules which describe how different items from data relate to each other and sometimes using probabilistic rules. Decision trees. Expert systems are programmed with a series of logical rules to find a solution. Very basic expert systems can use something called Boolean logic or decision trees to come to conclusions. Boolean logic has two possible values, true and false, yes or no, one and zero, and so on. The meaning of the two values is not relevant, only what the outcome of the two values is. So you can, here you can see an example, and it goes down the tree based off whether or not it meets the criteria. Problems with Boolean logic. A greater problem is that Boolean logic has only two values, making it difficult to represent many real-life problems. The answers to many real-life questions are not simply true or false, but some value in between. For example, the question, do you have a headache, is not usually answered with yes or no. It would be more helpful to know the severity of the headache. Similarly, a fever can be mild or severe, rather than merely present, present or absent. This is a great significant to the medical expert system, while a slight temperature may indicate something as simple as a common cold, severe temperature is much more serious and may need urgent attention. Avoiding problems of decision trees. To avoid problems of decision trees, expert systems typically use interface rules and chaining to reach conclusions. Interface rules are written as if dot 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 then statements which describe rules for a knowledge domain. A simple example of an interface rule might be if X has gills, then X is a fish. If X is a fish, then X lives in water. If X lives in water, then X can swim. Through the process of chaining, we can, give a, we can take a given object, Fred, who has gills. Using these rules, we can conclude first that Fred is a fish, then that he lives in water, and finally that Fred can swim. 
There may also be other rules in the expert system which will lead to the conclusion lives in water, such as if X is an alligator, then X lives in water. Using the same process, even though John the alligator has no gills and is not a fish, we can conclude that John can swim. Fuzzy logic. As discussed in many knowledge domains, answers and conclusions are not concrete yes-no answers, but are different degrees of truth. Fuzzy logic and fuzzy set theories are used to model these concepts in expert systems, whereas in traditional set theory, objects either belong to a set or not. For example, a patient's temperature is either hot or it isn't. Fuzzy set theory and fuzzy logic allow objects to be partial members of sets. For example, the temperatures can be hot and very hot at the same time. Two different degrees. An advantage of fuzzy logic is that it allows expert systems to provide multiple answers, each with differing degrees of certainty. For example, the result of a medical experiment might indicate that there is a 65% chance of fever and a 25% chance of malaria. Some of the advantages of fuzzy logic. As discussed, in many knowledge domains, answers and conclusions are not concrete yes-no answers, but have different degrees of truth. Fuzzy logic and fuzzy set theory are helped to model these concepts. And as we can see, right here in this picture, you've got the varying degrees of hot. You've got normal, and then you've got hot, and then you've got very hot, and then you've got an overlap in between the three. Problems with expert systems. As with any collection of data, an expert systems knowledge base may suffer from data integrity problems, including, including data which has been incorrectly entered, data which has become out of date, or data which is incomplete or missing completely. Each of these problems could have a significant effect on the reliability and accuracy of answers provided by the system. Similarly, the inference engine like any software system, may contain bugs, erroneous or missing rules, or incorrect data processing, which will also affect accuracy and reliability. Reliability. The impact of these reliability problems depends on the knowledge domain. A fault diagnosis system, which suggests an incorrect solution, may cause inconvenience, but a medical system, which suggests incorrect treatment, could cause a much more serious health impact. However, the key problem with expert systems is that they are dependent on the rules in their knowledge base, which cover only a small amount of knowledge, and they are unable to address problems outside of this domain, or exceptions to rules. This makes them unstable for some problems. Many modern AI researchers have moved away from developing expert systems, and toward developing systems which can learn and improve. And here you can see uh, the smart guy, and he's the knowledge for the unexpert system. That goes into the knowledge base, which transfers to the inference engine, which uh, communicates with the user interface and allows the user to access the information. And if there's something going wrong somewhere along that chain, if the knowledge from the expert is wrong, the knowledge base isn't programmed correctly, the inference engine isn't inferring correctly, or it's not accurately reaching the user interface, then you've got a reliability issue. And here's a bibliography of some useful sources that were used in creating this video. And here at ITGS Guru, we close with, stay nerdy, my friends.